Hey guys, in this video I will show you some of the best sage walls which you can use when you are playing right here on Lotus and we'll start right here with these simple walls on this at this route and rumble. So with the first fall you can make this one super easily and then you can peek each side. There, there's usually gonna be some people trying to hold you, they might even try to break through this A-link or try to push you. So simply doing this fall you are putting yourself in an unexpected position and even enemies tend to push the door so this is a great spot to hold the push you can be also placing walls like these for example so that way you will block off these areas no one can go through it and it can get you a lot of space and you can take the orb freely if you are defending there you can do this on defense or you can do it even further like this and then take the orb so this is one of the great greatest walls that you can do and the enemies only can go to doors if they want to push there or if you are defending, you can place your wall at the beginning of the round like this. You can either be standing on this side and trying to hold them from this spot. Or if that one is expected, you can either crouch here and be hidden. And then you can peek it and try to surprise the enemies or just simply hold this. Right here at A3, one of the greatest walls that you can use is this one. This way, if the enemies are then will push here, you can hide in this corner right here. This corner is very unexpected. Uh, at the at the start of the game usual enemies will forget about this tiny spot and they will not really clear you and you are in a great of angle to get at least two kills for yourself another wall is this one this is the best wall i think and as you can see it's pretty easy to do as well all you need to do is place your wall like this and then you can go get on the corner right here and you can be holding anyone who might be pushing defender spawn and this is a great off angle since as you can see no one would expect your head to be right here and it is would be very difficult to spot and you can get this way a very easy at least one or two kills before the enemies can catch up where, where you are actually standing on this spot you can be also doing wall like this you can be creating this off angle for enemies since once again they would not really expect you to be standing on this wall when they come out so yeah. Standing right there is a great option or you can be standing even here and you can be watching all the way on the spawn and If you build your wall a bit further or you angle it a bit more if the enemies drop drop right here They have no other way than to break the wall and it can also win you some precious time Also when you are defending there are two great walls firstly with this one You want to place it into the wall just like that and then you can get yourself on this corner and be trying to hold this a entrance or, or even this spot where the enemies are gonna come out. Another way would be placing it like this. Once again, you are getting yourself in an unexpected angle where the enemies won't have to, won't really expect you. Or the last one is by simply doing it like this. And as you can see, you can see through this wall right there. However, the disadvantage is that you cannot see through the parts where the leaves are. However, if you spot the enemy, you can also you can just pretty much see him, and then you wanna crouch, and you can spray through this wall. This wall is penetrable, so you can use this into your advantage since you now know that this wall this that you cannot shoot through the leaves. But if you see the enemy, you can simply crouch and spray at the exact same spot and get a free kill or at least some damage, or you will gain a lot of info. And for the enemies, it is very difficult to spot you. And lastly, here on A, this wall. You can use it also like this to very simply boost yourself on top of this box. You can also curve it like this so that way you can use it as a little coverage as well. Or you can just simply jump on top of it and hold these all, all of these unexpected angles where enemies can peek you. When you are defending right here on B, you can be placing your wall even like this. So that way, if the enemies would be trying to go in mid a lot, you can block this off and it would be very difficult to get through it since they would have to break all of these walls. If you want to block these hallways on B, I would recommend you place your wall like this. So that way the enemies have to break at least two blocks of the wall every time if they want to get in. And you can also use this as a little peek since you would usually see their head here or here. And on the other side, you want to do the exact same thing. You can do it, for example, like this. As you can see, just like that. And once again, it will block off all of these spots and enemies would have a hard time going in. They would have to break two blocks at least if they want to get through it. And of course, the same thing works if you've planted and you want to block off with your sage wall this spot. Just simply place your wall like 
like this and you can be trying to play at this goal with some crazy off angle which the enemies don't have to expect if you are going see you can place your wall right here and create this off angle just like that and you can be trying to hold anyone who'd be pushing from here or if their enemy enemies would be coming they would never expect you to be on top of this wall another wall which you can use when you are for example defending is this one just place it like this leave that a little corner right there and make sure that no one can get through this and this wall just makes it badly makes it but it's work, working still and once again you can be hiding here on top of the wall and trying to hold the push from yeah. the players right here you can be hiding behind this box then you can jump behind it and just simply leave right here on seaside you can also use this one way wall just like this just place it and then you want to make your way on this block right there and anyone who'd be coming here from waterfall would be a simple kill on on for you since enemies you can see them all the way here and as you can see they will not see your head and this is a really good spot to be holding if you want to be playing very passively here. as you can see you can see all the way here in the back and the enemies here. have no shot of seeing you even if they are crouched another spot that can be working for you even though it is very unexpected angle to be holding you want to be placing your wall like this as you can see into the wall straight forward just like that and you can get yourself all the way here into the corner and be holding this waterfall or you can be all the way here in the back and maybe trying to hold right there if there's someone just spotting or pushing you so this is another option that you can be try you can try to use another cool little trick that you can use you can plant your spike right here then place your wall behind it just like that and you can be holding it from this corner right here and it would be very difficult for enemies to defuse since they would have to break the walls and if they get on it they have nowhere to hide and they would be exposed to you so definitely try this as well and lastly i should mention this simple wall when you want to peek right here you can place your wall on this corner and be trying to hold if there's anyone holding you since they would never expect you to head peek right from this yeah. spot as you can see you can even place the wall a bit further so that the enemies have no chance of spotting it as well but pretty much always yeah. it would be very difficult for them to hit this spot and you would almost always yeah. die here so definitely try this wall when you are trying to peek and you know that there might be yeah. operator against which it's gonna work the best so yeah thank you guys for watching hope you like this video don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and see you guys soon bye